welcome to true projects in this video we are going to explain about the project which is a proposed model for improving the reliability of online exam results using blockchain so before getting into the execution first let's understand what is the project about imagine a scenario where schools and universities has to shut down unexpectedly due to a global crisis like covid-19 pandemic which we have faced already So in this situation, many educational institutions they adopted to learning management system, which is also called as LMS, to ensure that teaching and learning could continue without interruption. So these platforms allowed students to access course materials, submit assignments, and even take exams online, all from the safety of their homes. So by utilizing LMS, institutions were able to maintain the flow of education despite the physical closure of campuses. This approach provided to be both efficient and effective, enabling students to continue their studies and take exams remotely, minimizing the impact of the pandemic of their academic progress. One of the major issue that has to come to light with the growing use of LMS for online exams is the difficulty in ensuring the reliability and security of online exams. So the main issue is the reliability and security of the online exams for example there are concerns about how secure the system is in protecting exam data from being tampered with or altered if exam results are not securely managed it could lead to inaccurate grading which would be unfair to students and also it could affect their academic futures so ensuring that online exam data is protected from potential breaches or unauthorized access is essential to maintain fairness and transparency in the evaluation process in the traditional online exams centralized databases such as mysql are often used to store the exam data because they are easy to manage and provide quick access as these databases are centralized they have some major security drawbacks one of the biggest concern is that they are vulnerable to attacks or unauthorized access for example if someone gains access to the database they could alter the exam scores or they can tamper with the student information which would affect the fairness and credibility of the exam results this means that the student's academic integrity could be compromised due to the weakness of the system as a result there is a growing need to explore more secure methods of handling and storing online exam data one side can be safeguarded against such security threats and ensure that the exam results remain accurate and trustworthy so to overcome all those problems in this project we are proposing a technology called blockchain technology so this offers a strong solution to address the security and reliability in online exam systems since blockchain it operates a decentralized network so as the blockchain offers a decentralized network it allows exam data to be stored across multiple nodes instead of relying on a single vulnerable database this distributed approach makes it much harder for anyone to tamper with the data or gain unauthorized access so each piece of information in the blockchain is stored in a block which is linked to the previous block through the cryptographic hashing so in the blockchain data is stored in different different blocks and each block is secured through a cryptographic hash code which is very hard to change because each block is linked to the previous block in a chronological order and they are secured through cryptographic hashing which creates a chain of the data that cannot be easily altered this ensures that once the exam data is recorded it remains unchanged providing a transparent and secure record So this project aims to develop a framework using a blockchain technology to securely store the data and evaluate online exams offering a solution that ensures both the integrity and security of the entire process. So moving on to enhance the proposed blockchain based exam system two key extensions has been introduced to improve the security and cost efficiency. So coming to the first extension So as a first extension we have incorporated biometric authentication so in this setup students will be providing their biometric data such as fingerprints during the registration process so when they log in to take an exam the system verifies their biometric information against the registered data so this extension ensures that only authorized students can participate in the exam effectively preventing impersonation and maintaining the integrity of the exam process moving on as a second extension 
we address the issue of storage cost associated with the blockchain technology while blockchain offers super security the expenses increase as the amount of data stored grows so to counter this we introduce data redundancy technique as the second extension so this involves utilizing a lossless compression algorithm so here we use lossless compression algorithm to decrease the size of the data before it is stored on the blockchain by compressing the data we can significantly lower the storage cost while ensuring that the data integrity remains intact making the system both secure and cost effective moving on to implement this project we need software and hardware requirements so software requirements which are needed are python ideally node js visual studio community version coming to backend languages used python javascript and solidity have been used coming to framework we have used django and front end languages used are html css javascript and bootstrap 4 have been used and coming to hardware requirements used we have used processor of 5 5 and above ram of 8 gb and above and rom of 20 gb and above are used so this is all about the theoretical concept now let's execute to execute we need to open the code folder which contains source code files so these are the source code files in the code folder of the project let's understand each of them so coming to this biometric folder in this we have some biometrics i mean images of the fingerprints when students register they will be using these images as their biometrics so coming to this exam folder in this folder we have some python code files that are intended to be dynamically loaded into the project code during run time and coming to this app folder this comprises of two sub folders one is static and templates and we also have some python code files so coming to static folder it contains files related to css javascript and bootstrap files these files contribute to the visual and interactive aspects of the application and coming to the templates folder within this folder we will find all the html pages used throughout the project it includes pages like index.html home.html and more representing various sections of the website and coming to python code files they will be executed during the runtime of the application which supports projects functionality and in this hello it folder we have json file and solidity code file that will be compiled and the project will be deployed in the contract address so moving to this manage.py file it is a command line utility that comes with the django and it provides various commands for managing django projects including tasks like running the development server creating the database tables and applying migrations and more and in this json file will have the blockchain structure that is the project structure in that and in this exam contract file that is the solidity code this consists of a solidity code it handles data structures functions and events with modifiers for validation and this is the run.bat file instead of executing the project through command line interface we have created this run.bat file we have to double click on that to execute so before that we need to host the blockchain server and then we have to deploy the project in specific contract address so open the helloeth folder open the node modules open the dot bin so search for run blockchain dot bat file open that so here if you observe blockchain server has been hosted now we will migrate the files for that we have to give the command truffle space migrate click on enter so now blockchain will be deployed i mean the project will be deployed in the blockchain at specific contract address so this is the contract address where this project is deployed and this is the amount of gas used and this is the balance we have so now minimize this now get back to the main folder now we have to double click on this run dot bat file so double click on it here if you observe manage dot py file is compiled and here django framework has hosted the application at the local address which is the host and port now copy this local link provided by the django framework and paste it in any web browser so i'm copying the link i prefer google chrome so i will paste it in that paste the link here and at the end type index.html and click on enter so this is the web page of the project which is developed using django framework and here if you observe in the home page we can see various links one is admin login student login new user register here 
So first, let's log in as admin. So click on that. Here we need to provide admin details. Now click on login. So admin has logged in successfully. What will admin be able to do is he can view the registered students, he can view the grades and he can view the proposed and extension blockchain data payment type. So let's click on view registered students. So if you observe, there are no registered students yet. And if you click on view grades, there are no grades because there are no registered students who have written the exam. So let's log out and register the students. So click on new user register here link. So here let's give the user details who are nothing but the students. So let's sign up as a user Swati. Give the password. Give the contact number. Give the mail address. Give the address. Here we need to click on choose file to upload the fingerprint. So click on that. So here we need to select the biometric and we have to remember that biometric because when we log in, we have to give the same biometric. If you give some other biometric, it will show that invalid details or invalid biometric given. So let's give the fourth image as the biometric of user Swati. So click on open. It has been loaded. Now click on register. So here if you observe, sign up process of Swati is successfully completed and this is the block hash in which data has been stored. So Swati details are stored in the block number two and this is the block hash code using which the Swati sign up data is securely stored. And these are all the other block related details. Now let's sign up as the other user. So click on new user register here link. So here let's register as Ujwala. Give the password, give the contact number. Give the mail address. Give the address. Click on choose file. So for Swati, we have given fourth image as the biometric. So for Ujwala, let's give fifth image. I mean the image number five as the biometric. So click on open. It is loaded. Now click on register. So sign up process of Ujwala is also done successfully. And this is the block number three where Ujula's sign up details are stored and this is the block hash code. So now let's log out. No, no. Now let's click on admin login and view who all are the students that have been registered. So give the username and the password. So click on view registered students. If you observe here, two students have been registered who is Swati and Ujula. Here are their personal details. Now let's log out. Now let's log in as student Swati and write the exam. So click on student login. Here we need to give the username. Give the password and here we need to click on choose file and upload the biometric. So first let's wrongly upload the biometric. So let us upload the six. Initially when she was registering, we have uploaded fourth image. Now let's wrongly upload this sixth image. Click on open. So here we have given now click on login. If you observe username, password matched, but the biometric authentication failed, which is the extension. So biometric authentication was the extension using which all the details, I mean, students, they can securely authenticatedly, they can log in. So let's log in again by giving the authenticated fingerprint. Give the username, give the password, give the biometric image. So this was the biometric, click on open and now click on login. So user Swati, she has logged in successfully. And this is her dashboard where she can write the exam. She can view the grades. So let's click on write exam link. So now the user Swati, she will be able to attempt the exam. So she has to answer all these questions. So the first question is who developed Python programming language? So among four answers, she can choose any answer as the correct answer is C. I'm selecting C, which is Voodoo Van Rossum. So I'm selecting the option C. And the next question is, which type of programming does Python support? So it supports all of the mentioned options, which is object oriented, structured and functional. So I'm selecting option D. Is Python case sensitive when dealing with the identifiers? Yes, it is case sensitive. And which of the following is the correct extension of Python file? It is .py. And is Python code compiled or interpreted? It is both compiled and interpreted. So we have answered all the questions. Now let's click on submit. So here, 
she got a grade as 100 and her exam data i mean the questions which she has attempted are all stored in the blockchain and this are this is the details so this is the block hash and it is stored in the block number 4 now let's click on view your grade so that user swati she will be able to view her grade so here if you observe Swati's ID is one and this is the first question which she has attempted and she also has attempted all the five questions and this is the time when she has completed the exam. She has taken 60 seconds and this is the grade which is 100 marks as she has attempted all the questions correctly so she got the grade as 100. Now let's log out and log in as the student Ujwala. Let's give the password, click on choose file. At the time of registration, see she registered with the this biometric. So let's choose this one. So click on open. It has been loaded. Now click on login. Ujwala has logged in successfully. Now she will be able to write the exam. So click on write exam. And she has to answer all the questions. So let's answer some wrong questions. So select. So let's pick the first question as option A. So second question would be all of the above. And let's give the third option as I mean third question as option A. So fourth question let's give her correct answer which is the dot py and fifth question is is both compiled and interpreted. So here she got grade as 60 because she attempted only three questions correct and two not correct and the details of her exam are stored in the block number five. This is block hash where in where that block is secure. So now let's click on View your grades. So this is her grade. So this is the student ID. This is the student name. So first question, she got zero. I mean, she attempted, but it is wrong. Second question, she attempted, but it is correct. So similarly, all the other three questions. And this is her time. When she, I mean, this is the time and date when that particular exam has been completed. And she took 24 seconds and grade is 60. Now let's log out and again log in as Swati and try to reattempt the exam. So click on student login. Give the username and the password. Click on choose file. Select the first image. Click on open and now login. And we have given invalid login details. So let's give it again. So she has logged in successfully. Now let's click on write exam. So as she has already written the exam, she will be not able to write the exam. So this means that students can also not perform any kind of manipulation that is malpractices. So she has already written exam and her previous grade was 100. So with this, we can understand that blockchain, it provides a secure and reliable authentication system. Now let's log out and log in as admin. Give the username and the password. Now let's click on view grades. So the admin, he will be able to view all the registered students and their exam results and also all the related details of their exam. And now let's click on propose an extension blockchain data payment type. So click on that. So this graph represents propose an extension data storage cost. On X axis, we have propose storage cost and extension storage cost. And on Y axis, we have storage cost. So here propose means the proposed technique and extension is the extension technique using which storage cost has been calculated. So if you observe proposed technique has taken the more storage cost than the extension technique because as the extension we have took loss technique I mean loss reduction technique. So this is the blockchain data storage cost graph where on x-axis we have the techniques used to store the data and on y-axis we have the storage cost. So here using proposed technique. So when we used proposed technique we have not compressed the data we have directly stored it in the blockchain. So coming to extension here we have used lossless compression technique to compress the data and store it in the blockchain. So when we compare both the proposed and extension so extension is taking less storage cost. So now let's log out. So in conclusion, the proposed blockchain based framework for online exams along with its enhancements effectively addresses key challenges related to security, integrity and cost efficiency. So by incorporating biometric authentication, the system ensures that only authorized individuals can participate in exams, thereby safeguarding the assessment process. Additionally, the use of data compression technique helps to reduce storage costs without comprising 
compromising data integrity. Together, these features create a reliable and efficient solution for storage institutions seeking to leverage advanced technology while upholding the highest standards of academic integrity in their online examination process. So this is all about the project. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.